Hi, this is Kelly Hudson, and I'm going to explain the Minnesota Importance Questionnaire to you. I just spent two hours making notes and they all disappeared, so I'm gonna to try to do it by memory. Um, the Minnesota Importance Questionnaire is a way for counselors to help identify their needs and values in a vocational aspect and find occupations that can provide um, meeting those needs and values through what we call reinforcers. The higher the correlation of reinforcers to the needs and values, the higher the satisfaction and higher the satisfactory job performance. The Minnesota Importance Questionnaire is written at about the fifth grade difficulty level, um, and there's two forms. There's a paired form where paired statements of um, values and needs are given and the client chooses the one that best represents them or is most important to them. Um, that takes about 20 minutes to complete. The other one is the ranked form and it provides five statements and clusters for the patient to rank in, in an order of importance from one to five. Once the client um, is ready to take the Minnesota Importance Questionnaire, the only instructions we really need to let them know is it's important to finish every question. It's important on the ranked form that they do a one through five, there are no duplicating numbers, and um, that they go in order. It's also important to let the paired um, form takers know that some of these questions will repeat, but the pairs of questions won't repeat. We're trying to find out what's most important to them in those pairs. We send that away to the Minnesota or University of Minnesota Vocational Research Department and we get a profile back. That profile will identify and talk about the top needs of the client and how they correspond to occupations that have reinforcers for those needs. Um, there are three different levels, or excuse me, three different scores. One um, is likely to satisfy, one is will satisfy, predicted to satisfy, and the other was no, not predicted to satisfy. And counselors can use these in several ways. We can um, rank the needs from highest to lowest. We can rank what's important in clusters of jobs. We can talk about um, the client's perception of their needs and values as far as vocational. We can talk about their skills and how they align with these vocations and their needs and values. We can do it from the client's perspective, we can do it from the therapist's perspective, and we can just do an objectionable, or excuse me, an objective assessment of, hey, here's what your assessment says, what do you think about that? So I hope I didn't leave too much out. The one thing I do wanna add is that it's important to look at the consistency score, the score, the LCT, because if the client did not answer consistently, it will not be a reliable assessment. Thank you.